a giant among giants. Wilt Chamberlain is the only player in NBA history to average 50 points for a season and score 100 points in a single game. A four-time league MVP and a two-time champion, Chamberlain left an indelible mark on the sport and in the NBA record book. So my impressions of Wilt is that everything you had done, he, he had done better. And uh, he was that kind of a guy. I, I remember him from Philly, obviously. Uh, he's a Philadelphia guy. Went, I went to school with his brother, so I, I kind of knew him and, and had seen him play. I sat on his sidelines, though, while they played in the playgrounds a lot of in our times. Uh, when he came back home, hoping to get picked to, to play, you know, in those games with him and whatnot. But, you know, he was a guy that uh, I had idolized, so to speak. I, I wore his socks uh, throughout my high school career because they were long and I had real skinny legs. So I was able to make my legs look a little bit bigger. Um, but he was a guy that, for my, for me, and most of the guys that I know, he's the greatest player to ever play the game. Saw Wilt play when I was in high school because the Philadelphia All-Stars came down to play against the Washington All-Stars. Elgin leading that for Washington, and Wilt leading that for Philadelphia. Wilt, could have, he, he's one of those guys could have played in any era. I think he is the most dominant basketball player of all time. Wilt Chamberlain of the San Francisco Warriors, the league's leading scorer for the last five years, the league's deadliest man under the board. The rebound, Luckenbill. Back to Luckwood. In the chamber. He, he is one person that I would say saved the NBA. One year he averaged 50 points a game and people came to see him play. Uh, he was such a such a big giant and an athletic person, blocking shots and rebounding, and just scoring, went scored 100 points in a game up at Hershey, PA. One of the players that played with the Knicks at that time, after the game was over, he called his wife and said, hey, Wilt and I scored 102 points tonight. And his wife was very thrilled, you know, that she thought her husband had a great night. She said, well, how many did you get? He said, well, Wilt got 100 and I got two. <laughs> Wilt Chamberlain of the Philadelphia 76ers, an all-star choice and the most valuable player of the league, the tallest, strongest, highest scoring man of the NBA. As the all-time high scorer of the league, Wilt sets records every time he plays. Some amazing things that I got a chance to watch him do besides lead a team to a championship. I remember the Sports Illustrated had a headline uh, Wilt, uh, the reason he's passing the ball now is he can't score anymore. He's getting too old. And I'm, I'm not sure if it was the next three or four games, he averaged over 60 points just to let everybody know that he hadn't forgotten how to score. Then he went back to getting assists and led the league that year in assists. Guys like Jerry West and Elgin Baylor, I feel very, very happy that I and being traded, being traded to a team that I believe may stand a chance to be go down the record as one of the best teams in basketball ever. I remember, you know, Bill Sharman was the head coach, and he used to play for the Celtics, a bitter rival uh, of Jerry West, and, and Jack Kent Cook hired him to be our head coach, and uh, Bill Sharman had a ritual of game day shoot-arounds uh, at 11 o'clock, and he tried to sell this to the team, and we all said, fine, we'll come in and, and, and warm up and move the blood a little bit, get ready and get out of bed. And, but Wilt wasn't going to have any of that. And he said, look, he's a coach. He said, he said I believe in your, your, your game day shoot arounds. He said, however, you're going to get me once a day. Do you want me for the shoot around or are you going to have me for the game? <laughs> you know? And so, you know, Bill keep trying to convince him to come. And he started to, to come. And when he started to come to the shoot arounds, that was the day that we ran off 33 straight. And so there was no way that he could never not come to another shoot around. And so uh, he was a character, he was unique, he was very smart uh, and loved playing with him. Senior writer Sean Powell, Wilt Chamberlain, one of the most imposing and physically dominating players the sport has ever seen. Well, you talk about fans whenever they see today's game, they're familiar with the Greek freak. Well, this was the Philadelphia freak. This was a guy who was seven foot tall, strong, quick. The NBA never saw anything like him. 
he, he would race down the court, you know, grab rebounds, go for layups, shoot jump shots. I think most of the people, when, when they think of Will Chamberlain, they see a guy who had gained a little bit of weight, played for the Lakers. That was the only footage. But you didn't see the footage of him early in his career when he just did all sorts of incredible things. Most memorable, the 100-point game, a record that is likely never to be broken. Yeah, you know, we don't have highlights to that. So, again, we're going on, you know, people who were there and Hershey. But, look, he owned the record books. The records that sort of stand out to me besides the 100-point game, uh, 48.5 minutes he averaged in a season. Of course, there's only 48 minutes in the game because he played every minute of every game plus overtime. Okay, that is incredible. Also, he never fouled out a game in his entire career. Now, this is a center, by the way. He would go block shots, play defense, and he was smart enough to avoid fouls and stay on the floor. Yeah, probably most known for that 100-point game. But when Wilt wanted to just rebound or just distribute the basketball to his teammates, he would have no problem doing that as well. Well, he led the NBA in scoring and rebound and assists. No one has ever done that before. Later in his career, he figured, you know what? I've got to pass the ball to my teammates. I've got to finally get this championship. And he got it to Philadelphia and later with the Lakers. When Wilt was playing for Philadelphia, we used to have a Thanksgiving night game with Philadelphia every year. Noon time of the game. Of the game. Wilt came by the hotel, got me, and took me home with him, and I had dinner with his, him and his mother, his father, and his sisters and brothers. And uh, after dinner, his mother said to me, I understand you take a nap after uh, every afternoon. I said, yes. She said, well, you can go in Wilt's bed and take a nap. And so uh, I took a nap that afternoon, and then we went to the game together. This was an annual thing. See, I never considered him a rival. I always considered him as a competitor, in that we competed from the same position, but in completely different ways. 